long way and I need to bed down. Oh, of course. You uh, take this. I'll sleep on the couch. Great Jupiter! That's enough to smother a man. Andrew. Well, morning, Jake. What can I do for you? Well, I'd, I'd like to get another bottle of that, that stuff. Huh? You know, what was it I got last night? Old Maryland rye. Yeah, that's it. Another bottle, please. You liked it, huh? Well, I, uh, I'd like another bottle, that's all. Okay. Morning, Andrew. Oh, morning, Miss Ballard. How was the dance last night? Oh, it was, uh... Oh, I didn't go. Oh. I hope Peggy isn't ill. Oh, no, no. She's fine. I think. Morning, Miss Ballard. Here you are, Andrew. Oh, thanks, Jake. And, and would you charge it until next payday? Sure. How about a Brobo on the house? Oh, uh... No, no thanks. I, I never drink it. Oh, uh... Would you mind dropping a bottle by my room every morning? It'll save me from running down here and picking it up. You mean I should deliver it in the morning like milk? Yeah! Thing I ever heard of. Don't mind telling you, Bub. It gave me quite a start. Well, I'm sorry, sir. I should have told you. Hey, did you hear what that blasted thing said? They've sunk the American fleet. What do you mean? It said that we're dependent upon the British fleet. That's terrible. The enemy has sunk our whole navy. Oh, no, sir. Um, our fleet's fine. In fact, we're not even at war. Well, who is? Well, the English and the Germans. English and the Ger... Oh, you mean the Hessians. They're Germans now. And Germans, Hessians, Prussians. It's all the same. We've had trouble with those fellows before. You don't mean that the British and the Hessians are at each other? Yes, sir. Never thought I'd live to see the day. Well, between the two, though, I'll take the British. At least they speak the American language. How are they coming with their war? Well, you see, it's being fought on so many fronts. Oh, big one, huh? Somebody else in it? Yes, sir. Who? Well, there's England, France, Germany, Russia, Italy, Greece, Czechoslovakia, Egypt, Australia, China, Japan, Latvia, Estonia. Jumpin' Jupiter, that's enough. Quite a brawl. It certainly is. By the eternal! It's our opportunity. Opportunity for what? While the rest of them are at each other's throats, we'll move an army west and capture California. Oh. We've already got California. Mm. Well, then we'll move in and civilize them. Well, uh, California's already civilized. You're talking like a lunatic. Where's the spirits? In your hands, sir. Mm. Well, go get yourself ready. If we're lucky, we'll have a hanging today. Yes, sir. Uh, excuse me, Mrs. Grondis. Oh, pardon. Well, let me try it my way, just for today. And if that doesn't work, I'll do anything you want. You're as stubborn as Ezra. All right, but remember this. 
We're wasting time. Like Why, the guy know. actually thought there was a general sitting in his room. A general? Yeah, a general. And the bottle was there, too. Two bottles. Got another this morning. Once daily delivery with the morning paper. Of course, I don't want to say anything on account of Peggy. It's tough on her. But all the same, a guy in charge of the city books... Hey, he comes now. Come on. I'm positive Mr. Lancaster doesn't know anything about it. You see, he's the mayor. He's talking to himself. Yeah, but did you hear what he said? Lancaster doesn't know. Sounds plenty bad to me. I, I feel like it was all my fault. Two quarts, and he's still on his feet. Hey, watch out! What do you want? The whole sidewalk? I'm sorry, sir. Sorry? Oh, uh... Sorry for what, Andrew? Well, nothing, Mr. Marbury. Uh, just sorry. Well, the mayor will understand about the books. He knows. I've got to account for that money somehow. It's the first dishonest balance I've ever struck. This way. I wonder what's the matter with Andrew. He's talking to himself. What's he saying? I didn't hear. It is my And when I do get back on salary, nobody can support a wife on $22.50 a week. I beg your pardon, Andrew. I didn't say anything, Mrs. Kelly. Meddlesome old hag. Old hag? Oh! Oh! So there was nothing else for me to do but come directly to you. Now, that'll be enough, Andrew. You're imagining things. My advice to you is stop drinking. But I don't drink. I never took a drink in my life. <laughs> Just the same, stop it. You know, I've been thinking about you lately. Tell me, how much money do you make? $22.50 a week. Well, somebody's going to answer to me for this. It's been my policy to see that those who are efficient are rewarded for their loyalty. You know that, don't you? Well, I, I've only been here four years. And I'm giving you a raise. As of today, your salary is $25. If I can't be surrounded by happy, well-paid people, I'll resign. Well, I don't know how to thank you, Mr. Lancaster. That's quite all right. Now, why don't you take the afternoon off? You know, uh, maybe a little snort to sell at the raise? I don't drink, thank you. I'll go tell Art Slocum to hand over the books, and I'll turn in my report this afternoon. You'll do no such thing. I'll attend to the books. Don't do it. Say, what's wrong with you, anyway? Standing there, shaking your head and hollering? You must be nuts. Well, I, I've got a bad headache, and when I shake my head like this, it seems to go away. You better go out and sober up. And stop running around with a lot of wild, confused stories, or you're likely to get into serious trouble. You've got your raise. What more do you want? You're trying to bribe me. Well, you can't. I want my suspension lifted so I can strike an honest balance. You forget about those books. That's an order. And if I don't? You're fired. All right. You're like all the others. You don't want the books balanced. Well, if you don't, I know somebody who does. Yeah? Who might that be? The district attorney. Get me Beamish. It's the mayor. He says Andrew Long's on his way to see him. Tell him I'm busy. Tell him I'm out. Mr. Beach isn't in. I'll give him the message. Dinner tonight? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Hello, Peggy. Where's Andrew this morning? I don't know and I don't care. Oh, you heard too. Heard what? About Andrew walking down the street acting funny and gibbering to himself. I don't believe it. Neither did I till I heard him. They even say he's been suspended. You didn't tell anybody about last night, did you? Who, me? Why, of course not. When will he be in? I'm sure I don't know. You can wait if you want. Take a chair. No, thanks. Well, if you don't want it, why are you sitting down? I beg your pardon? I said take a chair and you said no thanks and sat down. What kind of business is that? I wasn't talking to you. Mrs. Crumb, I'm so worried. Have you seen Andrew? Oh, I ain't seen him since he left this morning, late. Oh, it's true that he's been suspended. They told me at the city hall. 
Uh, and do you know what else people are saying? Yes, I heard them. Gave them a piece of my mind, too. Mrs. Grandos, he isn't crazy and he isn't a thief. Of course he ain't crazy. Just you remember what people said about Columbus. Uh, then he isn't going to see us at all. Hey, who's us? Oh, uh, you and me. Well, he's not going to see you. Good night. Let's go. Well, you were right. You take it from an old politician, Vader, I know. Guess you're ready now to take my advice. Yes, sir. Hmm. Tomorrow morning, you're challenging the mayor to a duel. Oh, I can't do that, sir. Why not? He slandered you, didn't he? Well, duels are against the law, and if I shot the mayor, they'd arrest me. Arrest you for fighting a duel? Good grief, what recourse has the man got who's been slandered if he can't fight a duel? Well, he can sue. Yeah, out of the question. You know what my mother told me just before she died? She called me to her and she said, Andy, she said, never tell a lie. Never take anything that's not your own. And never sue for slander. Settle them cases yourself. That's what I've always done. Down. Come up with me, Dr. Upjohn. No, Peggy. It's been my experience that people don't like to see doctors and undertakers dropping in on them, unless they've been invited. You can handle it better yourself. What'll I say to him? Uh, well, let's see. Uh, first thing, smell his breath. If there's liquor on it, call me. I've got some pills here that'll either sober him up or kill him. But what if he hasn't been drinking? You're gonna have to marry him right away. Right away? Yep. If he's not drunk, he's crazy. If he's crazy, he needs your help. If you love him, you'll do as I say. I guess so. I will, Dr. Upjohn. And another thing. If he thinks there's ghosts up there, pretend it's perfectly normal. Humor him. Agree with him. But marry him. All right. But smell his breath first. Yeah. Let me go to $1,240. Come in. Oh, uh, hello, Peggy. Andrew, kiss me. Oh, uh, sure. Andrew, you don't use anything to perfume your breath, do you? Of course not. Why? Well, it doesn't smell of liquor. If that's why you kissed me, you're wasting your time. Because I haven't been drinking. Oh, ha has the general been drinking again? Yes. Uh, is he around the place now? Yes, over there on the bed. I know, Andrew. I saw him when I came in. I just didn't want to embarrass you. You mean you saw him? Certainly. He's been lying there all the time. Hasn't he? You shouldn't have lied about a thing like this. He's been sitting there all the time. Andrew, there's something I want to talk to you about. I've seen Dr. Upjohn, and I realize now the whole thing is my fault. Your fault? Why? Because I haven't married you, that's why. You, you've been living in this room ever since you started high school. You're lonely. You, you've been under too much strain, and, and you just cracked under it. Oh, that's silly. I want you to marry me tonight. Peggy, I can't until this trouble's over. Andrew, we've got to understand something. I'm not going to play second fiddle to a ghost, and you might as well know it right now. Peggy. I'll say whatever I please. I'm going to destroy this idea once and for all. You think more of a ghost than you do of me, and, and I just can't stand it. Peggy, try to understand I'm that I... am sick and tired of understanding. Either the general goes or I do, and when I go, I'll stay gone. Listen, Peggy. Make up your mind, the general or me. <laughs> 